a geospatial PDF. There's a couple different ways to do this. We'll do two different options. So first of all, I'm going to open up a couple of raster layers in the zonal change example data set. They are two ECWs from two different years and click OK. Next, I'm going to open up a vector layer from the same folder called the Villages Parcels. So this is a shapefile that has a parcel overlay. So a very, very simple way to export this to a geospatial PDF is to come under the Manage Data tab and simply click on Send to Geospatial PDF. We get the attention box. This will attempt to save all layers. And I can choose Villages Save As. So I create a new file called Villages Save As, and it will save the geospatial PDF. Now, as that's working, I'm also going to do this through the spatial modeler. And in order to do that, I will click on Toolbox and choose Spatial Model Editor. And in the Spatial Model Editor, on the operators on the right, I will choose Create Geospatial PDF. I drag and drop the operator into the spatial model, double click on it to open the GUI. I select the plus icon to add new files under the raster input. I'll select the same two ECW files. Then I will select the one overlay, which is the shape file of the parcels. And here I will call this one Villages Modeler or Model and choose OK. Now I can, on the Spatial Model tab, run the spatial model and create the geospatial PDF. Once it's created, I'll look in the Outputs folder and we'll double click and choose the Villages Model PDF and open that one up in Adobe Reader. I can select the layers in Adobe Free Reader and select each of the layers and turn those on and off. I can also expand the tools and choose the measuring options select geospatial location tool and as I roam my cursor around the PDF in Adobe I can see the latitude and longitude. I can also select the measuring tool and select measurement types of lines and distances versus polygons etc. So here you have two very easy ways to create a geospatial PDF.